The north end of Lancaster is dotted with land once used in the production of iron. One such location is the Cornwall Furnace. It began operation in the early 1700s, making household goods. With the start of the Revolutionary War, our young nation turned to this area to make the ammunition to win its independence. I know that the British wanted to put them out of business, you know, especially during the war, because they were making so much ammunition. And we have a, a photograph of a British spy map that has the Grub Furnace marked on it, so we know it was one of the targets of the British, but they just never made it here. At its peak, this industry required hundreds of workers. The largest force cut down an acre of trees a day to fuel this massive furnace. They say that you could hear it for about a mile from here when it was in operation. Um, the fire that came out of the stack, they said you could see for about three miles from here. Slaves were one group of workers, others were prisoners of war. No matter how they came to Cornwall, they all faced grave peril. Among the other dangers here is dehydration, not to mention getting burned and getting cooked. It must have been horrible. And to add to all the other fun, they were breathing sulfur dioxide. And when they inhaled it, it combined with the liquid in their noses and their mouths, their esophagus, their trachea, and so forth, and formed sulfurous acid. <coughs> With such dangerous conditions and known deaths, this is one location where the spirits of the past could very well still be coming to work every day. I think they took the jobs that they could get. It was either that or starve. You've seen the building and you've heard their stories. Now it's time for you to decide. For Haunted Lancaster, I'm Peter Taraborelli.